Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Shi Zhi Sai Shang" by Wang Wei. Wang Wei was so famous for the writing techniques that you feel the picture skip picture only by reading the wording of his poem. So that's the unique characteristics of Wang Wei because. He's a true painter as well, so he observed the、uh, scenic views, the view spots through a painter's eyes. We have seen these techniques applied in another poem, "Han Jiang Lin Fan," which is writing about the mountains and rivers,、uh, the beautiful scenic in the South China. And in this poem, we can see how these writing techniques was applied to describe the desert, the vast land, no man's land of Gobi in the north China, in the northwest China. This poem was due to a business trip for Wang Wei to the northwest China. Uh, the mission is to comfort the frontier armies, which has just won a big victory over the Tibet people, and、uh, so Wang Wei take the mission as the ambassador to comfort the frontier armies. During this trip to the north west China, Wang Wei wrote a lot of poems. A bunch of them is also quite famous, and this makes Wang Wei as a pillar poet for the frontier and blockage castle poems as well. Normally, he's most famous as the pillar poet for the mountains, rivers, and farming fells type、uh, poems. This poem was written in the age of 36 of Wang Wei. He's still quite ambitious, and、uh, through the unique wills during his trip, the soldiers, the frontier things, which aroused a lot of pride and maybe more ambitious for Wang Wei. So there's. Even not a little bit of the Buddhism reflected、uh, during the、uh, this period. You can see that from the poems written in this periods. So this type of poems is totally quite different than the other type of the Wang Wei's poems, especially、uh, the poems written after、uh, his forties. 矢志塞上，王维。单车欲问边，蜀国过居延。征蓬出汉塞，归雁入胡天。大漠孤烟直，长河落日圆。萧关逢后骑，都护在燕然。Sounds a bit complicated, right? Not like the other poems by Wang Wei. It's always simple. Anyhow, it's a quite a simple poem as always. The only difficulty is, is the there's too many. Names for the places. Okay, let's look at this map. Wang Wei is on a business trip from the capital city Chang'an City. At the lower right, go to the Liangzhou, where the general、uh, stayed, through the yellow dotted line. These two names doesn't show up in this poem because these two places are very famous place and every Tang people know it quite well. And then we can see the place Juyan. That's one of the place in the inner 
Mongolia, China today. And then you can see another name, Xiaoguan. That's the midway. It's also a ancient blockage castle uh, in the frontier areas. But in the Tang Dynasty, it's the inner land. Uh, it's the midway from the Chang'an city to the frontier areas. So Xiaoguan is the midway uh, of the trip of Wang Wei. And then at the last of this point, Wang Wei point out a very, very remote place, Yanran. So that's the place within located in Mongolia today. Okay, let's review the poem sentence by sentence now. Shi Zhi Sai Shang, the title. So Shi means the ambassador. He was on a business duty. Zhi is going to Sai Shang. Sai is the blockage castle. So he was going, uh, has a business trip to the blockage castle, where implies the place, Liangzhou. Uh, he was going there to comfort the general and army, the soldiers. Dan Che Yu Wen Bian. 蜀国过居延，单车 a single car. Here actually, it's not a single car, but here refers he was the only officer in this mission. So that that's why he called himself as the single car or single horse. Uh, 预问边, the the purpose is to. Comfort the frontier armies and uh, soldiers. 蜀国过居延, so this could be explained in two ways. 蜀国, the vassal states, could be uh, explained as vassal state. So this, uh, with that explanation, this sentence means the vassal state of the Tang Empire has expanded or expanded over to the place of Juyan. And now you can look at that map again, where is Juyan is. And uh, the second explanation is Shu Guo. Uh, there's a title for the officer in the Han Dynasty, which is called Dian Shu Guo. So uh, in some cases in the Tang poetry, the people who is going to the frontier areas, they call themselves uh, as Shu Guo because he's an officer and he's going to the frontier areas uh, with a mission. So he call himself as Shu Guo. So if we explain in this way, Shu Guo refers to Wang Wei himself. He call himself uh, by the title uh, of the officer Shu Guo. Uh, and uh, I myself has go through the places of Juyan. So when we look at the map, it's hard to tell because if the most reasonable trip is through the dotted, yellow dotted lines, but maybe he's touring a big circle and uh, the final de destination is the uh, residence place of the general and the soldiers, but he may tour a big circle through the frontier areas. So it's hard to tell, and uh, uh, we, we, we nobody can tell exactly what's the real situation it is. So uh, it's all up to you. You can take uh, at the ex explanation one that from this sentence, one way express the pride to be as an officer of the Tang Empire. Look, the vassal states has expanded to the far end. We have such a big, strong Tang Empire. And uh, in the second explanations, Wang Wei is also quite a uh, pride by himself. Hey, buddy, I have traveled such a long distance to the most remote place of the Tang empires uh, with the name of Juyan. 
Do you know the place of Juyan? So that's such a pride、uh, claim by Wang Wei himself. Zheng Peng Chu Han Sai, Gui Yan Ru Hu Tian. So from here he start to describe the wills he has been through. Zheng Peng actually is there's no Zheng Peng at all. The peng is a type of grass. The shape is like a ball. So when the wind blows, it's just like a ball rolling on the gerbi,、uh, in the desert. And、uh, here, Wang Wei put the a character Zheng of in front of the grass, the peng cao, the grass, which、uh, gave the grass a metaphor that. He's just like the generals. He's just like the soldiers. He's on a mission to conquer, uh, to march to the uh frontiers to conquer the new land. So here, Zheng Peng, uh, makes the uh gives the very normal uh or very typical grass in this area, a、uh, meaning. He has the purpose to conquer the new land. Chu Han Sai. So the grass with the wind, the grass go out of the blockage castles. So Chu means go out. Ru is come back. So here you can see that we can also see the the, the season with which it is because in China,、uh, the wind is in season in the. Uh, spring to summer season, there's always mo uh ninety percent of the time is south wind, and in the autumn and winter season, uh ninety percent is north wind. So we know the frontier or the new land in is in the up north. So the grass is going out of the blocked castles. By the wind, by the blowing of the wind, which means it going to the north directions, which means it's the sum uh spring or summer times. We can also see the timing from the uh uh the next sentences. 归雁入胡天 uh the swans, the big swans, is coming back, and、uh, they are flying into the Hu's. Skies. Who is the term、uh, the Tang people call the Northerners or Turkish people in the Tang Dynasty? So that means the swan is flying to the north. So from this phenomenon, we know it's spring time, or as well because the swan flies to the south, China, in the autumn season, and it flies back to its. Original residence place in the northern China in the springtime. So from this pair of sentences, when we see some of the very unique、uh, wheels in this area, and also we know the exactly timing when Wang Wei paid this visit, and also this grass and this swan can be seen in. So many frontier and blood castles poems. So with the peng, the this type of grass, and with the、uh, swan, the big swans, we always、uh, associate these two together with the North China, the vast grassland and、uh, Gobi Desert. 大漠孤烟直。长河落日圆。Okay, so so far we have four sentences. It's all quite normal, and、uh, this is Wang Wei sentences. 大漠孤烟直，长河落日圆。So it's only with the efforts of Wang Wei that make the images into a Chinese mind. Till today, so whenever we saw the terms 大漠孤烟 or we saw the terms 长河落日 we always 
think about this poem, and also we always remind the images of the Gobi Desert and vast grassland in the North China. So Da Mo, the big Gobi Desert. You, I see the lonely smoke, and go upward so straight. So that's a quite unique phenomenon in these areas. First thing first, because the residents people or the army, the residents army is so、uh, rare. So you go through、uh, a long distance, a lot of time,、uh, even several days. You don't find a place that、uh, there where people lives. So even you find a place with people living there is could be only one or two families. So when they cook their meal, the smokes is so lonely. One or two smokes,、uh, and someone said this smoke is the alarming smoke、uh, by the army. Whenever there's a emergency happened, the smoke was. Related by the distance of twenty to thirty kilometers、uh, in separation, and then finally the alarming smoke goes to the capital city, Chang'an. Chang'e Luo Ri Yuan. So the falling sun looks so round in the far distance at the end above the Long River. So here. The river normally refers to the Yellow River. 大漠孤烟直，长河落日圆 So these two sentences so famous. Even most of the people may not know these poems, but they would always know these two sentences. 大漠孤烟直，哦，大漠孤烟。Or Chang'e Luo Ri, or Chang'e Luo Ri Yuan, and you can also see these type of images or、uh, description descriptions in the writings, in the paintings.、Uh, so it's something deep in a typical Chinese mind. Xiao Guan Feng Hou Ji, Du Hu Zai Yan Ran. So one. Thing need to pay attention is the spelling. Qi, that's the sound we normally、uh, read out, which means to ride, ride a bike, ride a horse, 骑马骑车 But here it should be read as ji. It means the horse plus the person on that horse. So so the two together we call it ji. So. Hou Ji is someone、uh, riding a horse and waiting、uh, one way there、uh, at Xiao Guan, the blockaded castle in the midway. So we now look at the map. Where is the midway? Where is the Xiao Guan? It is. So from here we can also、uh, figure out that all the places and the scenic wells is. Not belong to the one place. It could is from the many places during all the trip、uh, that Wang Wei、uh, saw in his trip, and he write this poem with the collection of his、uh, memories. Du Hu Zai Yan Ran. Du Hu. That's the title for the general, and.、Uh, He should be sitting in the city of Liangzhou. So look at the map again. Anyhow, the the people who is waiting in the midway for Wang Wei and、uh, tell told Wang Wei that no hurry. The general is not、uh, in his camp in Liangzhou city. He's far far away in the most Front frontier areas. So, look at the map again. Where is Yanran? So this is a, also a very typical 
uh, writing techniques for Wang Wei and other Tang poems.、Uh, at the very end, the poet liked to direct you to something very, very remote, and、uh, with such. Uh, redirections, which makes your feelings long and last, like when you're looking to the far distance. Even it's several、uh, thousand miles away, you look it through your mindset and、uh, make the feelings last. Okay. Now it's a quite simple poem, isn't it? As far as you have my maps and you know all the names of the places and where it is, and so、uh, for today's Chinese, so the people only、uh, remind this poem because of the uh, unique uh, and the creative cre- creative description of the. Gobi Desert of the Vast Grassland, 大漠孤烟直，长河落日圆 But when you know all the places' name, and you, as a Tang person, as a normal Tang person, you can you have very easily aroused the pride. I'm with such a strong and、uh, proud empire. And my country has goes to the some somewhere so remote, somewhere remote as the places of Yanran, and that's the spirit of the frontier and、uh, blockage castles poems about, and that's the pride of a typical Tang people. God. Okay, that's for today, and、uh, bye bye.